What's up, what's up, everybody? How is everybody doing? So, I know I've said Friday and Saturdays we're going to be doing some reaction videos, but um, some stuff's changed this weekend. Uh, I probably will do a reaction video tomorrow at some point, and I'm going to post it, uh, but tonight... Friday, I didn't do no videos, but tonight I have a little uh, time here to do a video because I am on a time schedule. Uh, everybody knows what's been going on with me in the past month and a half. Uh, everybody knows I went through depression for uh, a month uh, because I got laid off from my job, didn't have no money coming in. So I couldn't do nothing. I got so depressed where I did not come out to the garage. I did not to do anything. I didn't even get on YouTube. Uh, I tried to get on YouTube to do videos. But I was tired of all the uh, people talking shit. I was tired of people bad mouthing me. I was tired of one person saying all this crap about me. What was not true. So... Um, with all that being said and everything, I finally got back to work, started bringing some income in, and I was doing stuff off to the side to make a little bit of money, and I was actually selling stuff out of my garage when I was laid off just to pay my bills, uh, because even though I do car work, I wasn't getting a lot of people coming in, and so I was getting depressed, and uh, my power washing business wasn't going yet because i just started it this season and um <clears throat> and the weather here in ohio it just either was too cold to get out there or it was raining or then it will be 80 some degrees and then the very next day it'd be real cold and i'm the type of person i'm not going to power wash someone's house if the very next day it was going to be freezing cold out where it was going to damage their home. So I'm not that kind of person. So I know I said I was going to do some reaction videos today, tonight, and last night. But I didn't get a chance because I'm kind of on a time limit here. So I'm trying to get this thing out of the garage <clears throat> so I can go out. I'm trying to save some money so I can go out and buy another car for myself. And uh, because I sold my Lowrider S10 that I always put on Instagram and started doing YouTube with it. But <clears throat> I ended up selling the S10 at the end of last summer. Um, something that I kind of wish I never did. So now I'm in a hunt to look for another vehicle. And the reason why... I bought that S10 to build it was in the memory of my uncle who passed away of cancer. And plus the girl I, I'm with, she's the one that helped buy the vehicle as well. So it had a lot of sentimental values to it. Um, so I really didn't want to get rid of it, but I kind of got forced into getting rid of it. So I did. So I ended up selling it. But this summer I'm going to end up buying another vehicle and putting my touches into it. And uh, this time I might not get rid of it. <clears throat> so that's why we're trying to get this one done. And plus a lot of people have been asking me about this thing. Everybody's been asking, what, what's the update on the Kia? What have you been doing to the Kia? Well, like everybody knows depression sat in i got laid off from a job then i became depressed i uh, wouldn't get out of bed i wouldn't come out to the garage i wouldn't do nothing until just uh about three weeks ago so as of right now this is what we've done to it and it is almost done i am ordering the gas tank 
next week i'm going to order the gas tank and as soon as it gets here we're putting the gas tank in we're going to fill it up with gas and we're going to start driving it and yes i will do a video to show this thing out on the road after i get tags for it so as everybody know knows i i know it looks dirty right now because i've been doing a lot of work to it but i did do i did get this all uh undercoated i need to put another layer of undercoat on it i know it looks like a mess right now it looks like i haven't even done anything but i have been standing in the back of it to do welding work over there to get the bracket welded uh, i still got to weld up all those holes over there get it all flattened out and welded up um i'm going to cut a piece of sheet metal to cover that hole uh, cover where the tail lights go eventually these holes here so water don't get in there and eventually we're going to cut a big piece of sheet metal to go across the tailgate and we're going to uh, just put screws in the sheet metal that way i can take it off to get to the wires same with the uh same with the uh where the tail lights are too i'm going to drill holes into it for screws and we're going to put some screws in there so that way i can pull the plate off of it but <clears throat> that's where the gas tank goes it goes underneath as you can see the holes and everything so the gas tank i'm going to order it next friday so the gas tank will go back in as soon as i get it and i will try to do a video everything's primered as you can tell everything is primered so we got the primer on it. Everything's nice and smooth. Everything's looking good. Uh, we also did some fabrication work, put some rockers in. So I uh, still got some, uh, some mud I got to lay to get all that flat. I uh, got the door. I took the door off. And there is a piece of new sheet metal probably starting from here and it comes up to the bottom of the body line and it goes probably to about right here and it comes down to here and then i put the lip on it and now it's there now the only thing i got to do is this gap right here i got to bend this sheet metal a little bit in that's just because the door itself it must have been hit in the front end so it kind of buckled this door a little bit so the door kind of um let me put this down <clears throat> so the door literally is like buckled in or actually out it's kind of pushed out a little bit so i gotta take the bottom of that new sheet metal that i have and i gotta push it in to get rid of that um get rid of the uh yeah the gap right there but other than that all the gaps look good all the way up and around everything looks good everything looks good now <clears throat> i do have to finish doing i do have to finish uh doing some fabrication work put new sheet metal in on this door over here as you can see this here this is all getting cut out and we're getting a new piece of sheet metal so we're going to put a new skin on right here so we're going to end up cutting from here we're going to cut this out to about right where that body line is we're going to come over and we're going to probably cut it right here so we're going to cut that whole section out put a new piece in as you can tell down here at the bottom i still got to lay some more mud to get that out flat because it's got little ripples in it so we got to lay some more mud because i went down to the sea level as you can tell there is there so we got to build that out so all this has been primered this door has been primered everything's been good the whole front of the vehicle is primered the back is primered 
and then I got a little spot right there I gotta fix so that will be sometime this summer I'm not worried about that little spot in this door um, <clears throat> just because for the simple fact i got to get this thing out of the garage so it can come over to the other side of the garage but i want to back it in so i gotta get the gas tank in it gotta get some fuel put in it and then i can back it out turn it around and back it in because i want to do some stuff to the back end of the kia and i want to fix the door i want to pull the door off that way i can lay it on some uh, saw horses in the middle of the garage have a little bit more room to walk around and, and fix the door and stuff like that because when I took the driver's side door off when I took it off I stuck it on this little table and it was with this pool being here in the middle with that just a little bit of room to work it, it, it was a pain, but I got through it, so I figured this summer we will get the Kia out where we can drive it, but get it out, and then on a, on a Saturday, it will take me about a day to do. Uh, start it on a Friday evening, and then Saturday finish it up, primer it, and put it back on, so it will take about a day and a half to do, for me anyways. Um the door on the pass or on the driver's side it took me it took me a day to cut it out weld new piece in and then actually it took me a day and a half to do it i cut it out welded a new piece in then i ended up uh coming back in the next day grinding all the welds down nice and smooth getting it all sanded down uh get it in that prepped for fiberglass got it laid and then once I got the fiberglass laid I ended up sanding it down and then ended up laying some bondo some filler got the filler laid on there got it all nice and smooth block sanded it did all of that block sanding and everything and then I ended up priming the whole door and then sticking it back on the car so it took a day and a half to do so it's going to take me a day and a half to do it with the passenger side door. So I just want more room. So I figured get the gas tank in it, get it out of here where we can drive it through the week. And then take a Friday to pull the door off, let it park, stay outside, pull the door off on a Friday, start working on it Friday, Saturday evening. We can put the door back on after I get it all uh, fixed, get all that rust off there, get the new sheet metal tack welded in, and be done with it. And then sand it, primer it, and then put it back on in a day and a half. That way I have the door in the middle of the garage, I have more room to work and all that. And then the back of the Kia on the tailgate part, she always liked how the license plates on like S10s, your Nissans, your low riders and stuff, how they sit at an angle. Well, I'm going to put one of those in. So she always liked the look of that. So I'm thinking about doing something like that, building a box to put the uh, license plate reincessed in the tailgate for her. So somewhere on the tailgate, I will have that worked on this summer where i can pull that off uh since it's starting to get warm out the rain's starting to let up so we can get the door done get the tailgate done and get that little spot done around the tail light and all the body work be pretty much done on this thing then we're just going to leave it primered and then she's going to figure out what color she wants to paint it uh she wants to do something with butterflies and uh she wants to get some decals and stuff to put somewhere, but she needs to figure out what color she wants to paint it so she can do the butterfly theme. So, <clears throat> me personally, I think what she should do is 
leave it primed till the vehicle is completely done and then once we get a house out in the country where i can take this in and put a whole nother frame underneath it put a 305 down in it then she can start doing her butterfly theme but i still gotta tint the windows in it yet and uh, do some other things so but that's this summer but this thing next weekend I'm ordering next week, I'm ordering the gas tank, and it should be here, uh, I think, five to ten business days. Once it shows up, I will put it in. So two weeks, two weeks from now, the gas tank will be in here. Two weeks from now, guys. Two weeks, the gas tank will be in this, and we'll be driving down the road. So I will do videos of it. So tonight, I'm not doing reaction videos uh, like I want to. I want to... I wanted to talk a little bit about this because I get a lot of people asking me what's the update on the Kia what have you done to the Kia we want to see what the Kia looks like well here we go We still got to clean up the engine bay. Still got to do a lot of cleaning on the engine, but that's fine. I'm not really worried about it. We will get it cleaned up this summer. I will power wash everything, get it all cleaned up. And uh, like I said, I like to put a S10 frame underneath this and uh, put a little 305 in it and make a little fun toy for her. make a nice little hot rod out of it for her. but there she is like i said we gotta get the door panel back in on the driver's side but i want to get it cleaned up and uh they make this stuff for interior it's called interior paint uh it's like this here here's a can it's called interior paint it works for fabric vinyl this stuff i like very very well this stuff is black uh, you can get it in blue red uh, tan uh, gray you can get it in a lot of different colors um, so um, actually i got a blue can right there it's blue um, so we're going to go back to gray, gray and black. So I want to, uh, get this all cleaned up before I put it back in, get it all cleaned up. And then we're going to paint it gray. And then we're going to, uh, probably get the carpet out, power wash the carpet, clean the carpet real good. And then there'd be certain accent colors in here once we get it all like around the gear shifter and stuff and around the dash it needs to get cleaned up needs to wipe off because it's dusty everything looks good so wherever there's a scratch or whatever we're going to fix and then we're going to uh do the interior back to the original color so we might, I might go out and buy her some bucket seats, a little bit better, like a racing type bucket seats for her. 
this summer I might get her some I don't know yet she likes these seeds uh, I was thinking about getting something more hug huggable <clears throat> so but she likes these ones so we're gonna clean these ones up for right now for her. so but other than that it looks it looks good everything came out good so far the new rocker panel and remind you guys this is my first time doing fabrication work so these rocker panels that i made i think i did a pretty good job for my first time i really do i still gotta do some touch up here and there but i think i did a pretty fucking good job i really do i gotta do some trimming still but other than that i think i did a good job good job but anyways guys with that being said that's the update of the kia so just stay tuned hit that subscribe button hit that like button hit that share button and uh whoever's been following me on this build um it's not done yet but uh it will be on the road in two weeks once we get the gas tank underneath it we will get it out on the road and we will go and do a video of us driving it so stay tuned for that so hopefully everybody likes it hopefully everybody's got a little peace of mind on who's been asking me about the kia so there's the update of the kia <clears throat> hopefully everybody enjoys hopefully everybody likes and uh yeah hopefully everybody likes it so i will see you guys in two weeks two weeks i will do another update on the kia in two weeks unless i'm fabricating something for this then i will do a video but until then two weeks i will do a update on it and that way you guys can see it driving down the road <clears throat> two weeks count them down two weeks two weeks two whole weeks we will be driving this thing on the road in two weeks with that being said guys joker 1014 loves you all thank you for subscribing thank you for liking if you guys have any questions please leave them in the comment below but with that being said i'm out